Good evening. Two surfers have been injured in twin shark attacks in the southwest, both bitten by what's thought to have been a great white. The two attacks came within hours of each other and just two kilometres apart. We have live reports coming from Royal Perth Hospital, Gracetown and Margaret River. First, let's go to Tracy Vaux at Royal Perth Hospital, where one of the surfers is recovering after a three-hour emergency operation. Tracy, this is the first of the victims, a 37-year-old father, and he's very lucky to be alive. Indeed he is, Michael. His name is Alejandro Travellini. He was mauled at Cobblestone Surf Break off Gracetown at about 8 o'clock this morning. The Argentinian surfer has serious injuries to both of his legs. His friends have told Nine News how he fought against that shark which came at him time after time. Paramedics had to treat the surfer at the beach and then he was flown here to Royal Perth for emergency surgery. He has sent a message to the surfers who came to his help to rescue him. He simply described them as legends. Tonight his friends say he's still traumatised, his condition is stable. His family, his mother, his partner are by his side. First responders doing everything possible to help Alejandro Travellini. Even with severe bite wounds to his left thigh, ankle and right calf, the 37-year-old father is still conscious and breathing. There's every chance it's thanks to friends and bystanders who provided first aid that may have saved his life. We start to make a tourniquet in his legs uh, because there was a lot of blooding. Um, and then we put him in a bar and start to walk all the way up to the hill. The Argentinian-born local was airlifted to Royal Perth Hospital and went straight into emergency surgery, his worried family rushing to be by his side. Back at the popular Gracetown surf beach known as Cobblestones, witnesses and mates were still reeling. We were watching the surf and suddenly we heard some screams and saw a guy fighting with something in the war and he's bore away. They described the 8am attack as similar to Mick Fanning's infamous encounter in South Africa. He was punching the shark and like there was like three attacks, three different attacks in 20 seconds. The predator, believed to be a four-metre great white. Remarkably, Alejandro managed to get himself to shore. Then he took a wave, like body surfing, without his board uh, and started to swim back to the shore, but with the help with the, of the other guys, because he, he looks like he couldn't swim, swim very well. His mates then stretching him up the beach on a surfboard. He was asking about her family and uh, her girlfriend that it's all okay. First stemming the blood flow with their hands, then a leg rope, piece of strap and clothing. The guys put a couple of leash here and also we were pushing all the cats. Just hours later and only two kilometres away at a beach called Left Handers. You OK, man? You OK? Yeah, yeah. Jason Longgrass was also attacked, left with a big gash in his right leg, his board also bearing the scars from what he believes was again a great white. Four metres, I reckon. Yeah, it was there, it was coming towards me, I was looking at it, at the, yeah, right at the point of attack. The Denmark local had gone in the water despite beach closures and numerous shark sightings. This whale carcass with battle wounds had also washed up. Yeah, there's a tooth that's buried itself in my arm, um, in my leg. Luckily removed, then he began to thrash on my board and luckily my leg wasn't attached to him. The Margaret River Pro being held 15 kilometres away was suspended immediately after the initial attack, but resumed about an hour later with extra safety measures, including additional drone patrols and more jet skis. Clearly here we're all a surfing community down here and our heart goes out to the surfer involved in the incident at Gracetown today um, and we wish him all the best and we'll be thinking of him. Organisers later revealing that Alejandro is a valued crew member for the international competition, a lover of all things surfing, which almost cost him his life. Renee Henry, Nine News.